Breaking news, Moobs Motorsport has burnt to the ground. Three and a f***ing left. All my employees are burnt to a crisp. Even the chicken coop out back burnt. And the chickens? They're Kentucky Fried. The defending champion team left without a home, without workers. What will Michael Mertz do now? You sure you want this place? The septic lines are bursting. Man, it's all I can afford. Alabama may be ripe with cousin fucking. But at least the real estate is cheap. All right, well, here's the keys. Good luck to you. I have one week to build a car and get it to Daytona. Ha! Good luck with that. 600 likes to clean the septic lines. Through the wreckage, through all the fallen steel beams, through all the fried chicken bodies, this was the only car I was able to pull out of the remnants that is Moobs Motorsport. This is all we've got to try to rebuild what was Moves Motorsport Championship season of NASCAR 15? What's happening, everybody? I am Mike Gumroots, and we've got a brand new series to start! This is sort of a sequel to our NASCAR 15 season that we did over the course of the NASCAR 2023 season last year. I genuinely had a really good time matching that up last year, where every time there was an actual race, we ran one of these races. Well, we're doing that again, bitch! As many of us are aware, the Eutechnic Saga is due to end this July. Aww. NASCAR 15 and the Eutechnics, they're all just too damn good to see them go away and not have a series alive on the channel once the original playthrough of the Eutechnic Saga ends. So here we are, we're going to build a career mode. A Eutechnic NASCAR 15 career mode as a pseudo sequel. And we got a lot of work to do, babe. I'm the only one working on these damn cars, so you know they're gonna be slow right out of the gates. Research and development. I got 10 grand in my pocket after buying that race shop in the Alabams. That is where Moves Motorsport is now located. So I ain't got nothing. Do I can't afford any of this at the moment. Sponsors, we ain't got no sponsors. What great sponsors we had before that totally bail on me in my time of need. And the schedule. Today we begin our career. We're gonna run all the Daytones has to offer. So we've got qualifying, we have the duels, and then we have the five hunch. Are you telling me nine years later we've picked up where we've left off? And Atlanta is actually the second race this year and in the game back then. I just confused the fuck out of myself. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to be back on this and to be able to run these races along with the actual races as they're going along. It makes me feel like I'm not just a guy talking to a camera in a very small room. So what do you say we get down to the day totes and see how freaking slow we are? Because after all, I put this car together. I tinkered on it and I don't know how to tinker. Let's get the video started. Let's go! This is all new. I've never played career mode in NASCAR 15 before, so I had absolutely no idea what was coming along. 10 grand, huh? We don't really got, we don't got money for nothing. So we're just gonna finish that up and hit the track. It's time to set the starting lineup for the Daytona 500 with a pair of 150 mile qualifying races. The duel at Daytona. I'm Mike Joy with Daryl Waltrip. Mike, these races are fun because the driver has one responsibility. Don't wreck the car. Go out there, get some information, kind of prepare for the Daytona 500. So go out there, drive smart. And oh, by the way, try to win. This is the opportunity these teams have been working on all winter. It's time to go earn a spot in the Daytona 500 or load up and go home. I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm a little bit concerned that I'm gonna be one of the go-homers after these duels are over. I only made it three laps because I know how damn slow we are going to be and we're not gonna be able to keep up. Hey, I'm passing a guy. Maybe I'm not as bad as I thought I was going to be. We're actually keeping up here. It's still, it's okay, three laps, that's enough. We're gonna have enough laps to turn in the actual Daytona 500. What in the world is going on here? We're passing people! Holy sh- okay. This is my only car, I can't wreck it, you bastards! Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. What difficulty do I have this set on? Why am I able to keep up this well? We ran the fastest lap. I'm sure not driving like this is my only car. Um. Do I have the difficulty set as high as it can even go? I'm looking, I'm staring at Daytona dual win right in the face after the tragedy that we went through, the fire burning down moves, 
Motorsport. What the hell? Are you kidding me? They couldn't even clean his broken ass up. Bitch is sitting in his court playing Yahtzee. I'm thinking I might have, but how? I always race with it on like legend difficulty. I never bring it down. So why for this all of a sudden would I have it lowered? That doesn't make any sense to me. Pea brain and a busted, crusted ass okay, moves are leading the Daytona duel. And now, right's clear. And who is talking? There, I haven't hired anybody. Everyone perished in the fire. What the fuck is this? Bitch, I'm driving away from everyone at Daytona. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. That was awesome, driver. You've just earned yourself a place on the front row for the great American race. Winning a duel doesn't get you on the front row. The voices that we're hearing are in our head and are just like memories from last year. Can anybody explain to me what in the hell that was? Either I didn't have the difficulty set properly or the duels are just really broken. All right, so we're gonna do the Daytona 500 now. In there, that's when you set up the settings of how difficult you want it to be. Is it gonna give me a front row start? I have no idea. I was concerned about not making the race. Remember those days where they used to have five practice sessions at the Daytones? Five now, thinking back on it, might have been a little bit of an exaggeration. Who the hell needs five, six, seven hours of practice at Daytona? Let's hit the track again. Ooh. Ooh, we got some money. So that's good, but that's gonna use up my, okay, that's my budget. But it's not gonna use up all my credit. I, let's just have a decent engine, I guess. Oh! <laughs> Why was it on five? I didn't set it to five. I believe that when I set that up before, that I thought, I think I thought that that meant like 5% distance long of the race. I wasn't cheating. Stop looking at me like that. You know what? You know what? I, by me winning that duel, that'll make this so much more interesting because I'm actually going to be in the pack and maybe I'll be able to keep up a little bit. I said stop looking at me. I meant it. Stop looking at me. Of all professional sports, only NASCAR begins with its biggest event. Welcome to Fox Sports coverage of the Daytona 500. I'm Mike Joy with Hall of Famer Daryl Waltrip. Mike, the Daytona 500, the great American race. It's the Super Bowl, it's the World Series, it's the Kentucky Derby, all rolled into one. The 500 has always been the biggest race of any season. It has, Mike, and there's the guys that are favorites, but I, I love Dale Jr. in this race. This track means a lot to the Earnhardt family, and I love to see Dale Jr. win this thing. All right, 200 laps, let's go. Biggity, biggity, biggity. Let's go racing in a great American race, boys and girls. Thank you, Daryl! I feel so good being able to say that again. And Jeff Hammond, front row, front row. I don't think so, Buster, but I'm looking for that first spot right away with this piece of crap car. I'm not a rookie. We won the championship last year. We're underway. With our career mode. Ooh, look at that. I'm already getting some help. See, people feel bad for me because my entire crew was eviscerated by a fire. Oh. Now we got McDouche up behind me. Lord knows that'll end well. So if I would have like run 100% on the thing, you know what would have happened? You know what would have happened? I would have lost the draft in that duel and I'd be starting out last. And then I'd be running this race right here right now and they'd all be driving off for me and it'd be awful. I'd be causing purposely yellows just so I could have like restart so I could attempt to keep up. I cheated the duel a little bit, but it's all right. Now we're actually in the race. And maybe we're gonna contend for the damn thing? And hey, that money in that duel gave me some of them credits where I was able to get a decent engine in this thing. I gotta get out of this line! Give me the fuck out of here. Get, get, make room. Make room. I ain't doing this anymore. Four line. Stay there. Bitch, he hit that fucking safer. Oh, damn! I just done pissed off an entire nation of people. Nationwide. A hope is on his side. Wayne Pin, it's too damn early, even though it seems like we're burning through fuel at a rapid pace. I gotta make sure to keep the track position at all times. Being that we have a very slow car, at the beginning of this career, track position is king. Get into the bottom this time. There, there, there ain't nothing to be had up there on that top lane. We weren't going anywhere. 
See, everybody's leaving. They're abandoning ship, just like everyone should have done at Moves Motorsport. Now in this fucking shanty. I keep banging into things because it's so cramped and tight. I hit myself in the eyeball with a wrench. Of course, I make it down here and everyone dips and jumps to the top. Sideburn fever is a good egg. Gonna help me on this bottom lane regroup, get some things back together. If we could just have like one. Come on, William. Can I yeah, jump that? No. No. Everyone just now wants to leave. This is going way better than it should be. We should be way out back like that guy that has lost the draft, that dot way back there. We should be them. If we're not careful though, we could easily wind up like that guy. We want to keep up front, keep the draft alive. All right, you lawn gnome, Cole Whitney Spears looking bitch, let's go. I thank you for your patronage. I'm moving on. In our previous year, oh, the booth won some. Last year, William Clyde, we tried to get him into the chase, the playoffs, but it didn't work out too well. He had won Pocono, and then he really wasn't able. I, oh, uh, no. He was having a great run at the Glen, and I kind of. Look evil. I have no idea how that wasn't a caution. We might could be on pit road this lap. What was going on there? Bro couldn't find a way around? Now who's gonna change my tires? There ain't nobody left. I gotta get out of the car and do it myself. Yeah, I still got this damn crick in my neck. It's really uncomfortable in this race car. There are a lot of cars all over the place. Great, every time I see that car, I'm gonna think about my chickens. That wasn't my fault. And I hope to God that someone's willing to buy me a new race car, because this is the only one I got. Moves Motorsport hasn't had it hard enough. They're just gonna say, oh, you can't compete anymore. I've worked so hard, man. I worked so hard. I took a wrench in the eye. Getting this race car together. Getting down to the Daytonas. I drove my race car to Daytona, because I had to sell my actual street legal ride. I drove through the night without any headlights to avoid the popo. -po. And you want to do this to me? Get the race back up and running! <sighs> okay, so a few things. My thing ran out of storage, so it stopped recording. But that was only a few laps later than after that where the Gabe froze up on the loading screen because we had an accident. It was bloody. There were body parts flinging all over the place, much like the fire at Moobs Motorsport. So I had to quit anyway. And it's good that that honestly happened now looking at it because that led me to look at my recording and how I had no more memory on my PC to continue recording. So I'm gonna go down to the day toads and we're gonna try this again. Matey, 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 let's go racing boys and girls. Yeah, thanks Daryl. It seemed like you put a little less chutzpah into that one anyway. So we're gonna do 20 laps because it took them a few laps of caution and red flagging to clean up everything that went wrong there. And now we're down to 20 to go because I was on lap 12 when shit hit the fan. Let's try this shit again. I mean, I was running while I, I was running while I didn't lose the draft. I was in the top 10 the entire time. It's still pretty much the same race. It's not like. I'm getting a do-over or anything. I can't freaking decide if I'm pissed off about the game freezing up on me like that, or if I'm more pissed off at that, or at my fucking computer running out of space. You would think I would think to check that a bit more often. McDouche, I've got a family to feed, man. I need this money. I need the... I'm just trying to hang on to the lead and make it stay! Yeah, well, um, damn, I, I handled McDouche. I sent him for a friggin' ride. Where even is he? Oh, oh, well now we might be fucked because this is the first time we're gonna lose track position and I'm probably not gonna have anyone behind me to help drag me along. You better give me room. The leader is four seconds. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. I've been screwed out of that situation so many damn times. I'm glad I finally found a solution. We could 17 laps of fuel. I don't know if we're making it that far, but we might be close on the fuel situation. Wouldn't it be great if we had like a similar Daytona duel right here, right now, where I was able to just drive up through everybody? 
Man, that Daytona duel was really difficult and challenging, but it sure went well for us. Man, I'm keeping up the draft. I'm hanging with them pretty damn well. Okay, we're coming. Okay, they're getting a little bit stacky. Stackaroonie up there on the top. That's going to help me out some, but I can't lose this good, good speed. We're just beneath 200 miles an hour. I need to keep that alive if I want to keep up. If this six could just give me... Oh, uh, maybe not. We're coming back. We're doing, we're doing what we need to do. 200 miles an hour, I like to see it. Oh, something bad. Okay, okay, give me that, give me that move. Move! We can, work, we can work with it, we can make it up. As long as I do not lose this speed. It's like a very big time momentum based restrictor plate racing game. You need to keep up that big mo if you intend to move anywhere. Now what happened, I now I'm realizing you guys didn't see any of that. There was this caution, the 19 was behind. Bitch, I thought I killed him. The 19 was behind the 17. The 17 like blowed up or something. He was going real slow and the 19 couldn't find his way around him. It was a pretty interesting caution and that just caused this big old pileup. It's not something that I have really seen before. Out of, what was that? Out of AI in the game? So it's like making me wonder if we're gonna see more of that goofiness. I hate when I don't think, oh, you gotta check the memory of this bastard. I don't have like the biggest memory bank, I guess, for my recordings. I should really do something about that because I have an external drive. Why don't I record on that? That shit got multiple terabytes. We're going down. Oh my god, I'm so skilled! That was freaking awesome! We're still in the damn race, it's just we don't really have anywhere to go. I don't know if we're in the race anymore. I, I, where was I supposed to go? I was sick enough. I mean, I was pet. I was pet. I lack a certain amount of patience. Can we make it? We're like halfway on fuel and we've gone about six. Fuck it! I've go. got nothing left to my name! I need to take big risks! There's a good possibility. Right, you know right. what? If we would have pitted there, we would be able to make it to the end of the race. Oh boy, that could have been a mistake. Especially since I did a pretty phenomenal job keeping up on the last restart. I know that's not a given that we would have kept up on this restart if we restarted back there. But still, I, I had found a way to do it. So you would think I would have been able to do it again. Now instead, I have track position, but I lack a certain amount of fuel. Come on, I don't give a damn for working with you. We're going for the lead. There ain't uh, much fuel that I could be saving if I'm out front. But hey, if I run out of fuel, I could just block the crap out of all of them. Give me that shot, man. Give it, give it. Let's go. Let's go. Love draft me up to this lead, you fool. We got it. We got it. We're clear, all clear, but... I'm watching that fuel gauge. It's you. depleted. Hold them back. Hold them back. We got to hold them off. We got to do a lot of giggles. Logano blocking. That's probably about the only way we're going to be able to make this work oh, is if we do a whole hell of a lot of blocking. And then once I run out of fuel, I just, I continue to block. I continue to hold them back. I got to be like a lion tamer. And I got like the stool in my hand. All right, never take your hands Three off back. the wheel to pretend that you're a lion tamer. Oh, that just made things mighty That's interesting. Can we run them down? Oh, if this guy would bump trap me, and we got people on the pits because they know good and damn well they can't make it the rest of the way. Seven laps, man. He's gonna hang on for seven. Everything's coming back together. It got a little bit disjointed there for a second. Well, we're about to take that lead over once more. The fuel gauge is starting to change colors. There ain't no way I'm making it. It, it's, it was a bad mistake on my part, not pinning on that caution. I really should have come in. I was just afraid of having a restart out in the back. Car's done. She's wrecked. We gotta do better than that next time. That just wasn't your day out there, but don't let it get you down, man. We just need to work on finishing races and picking up some more points. Kind of weird. I hadn't had...
that glitch ever happened to me before up until a stream like a week and a half ago where I hit that spot and it launched me up into the air. But that was down in turn three. This time it's down in turn one. So apparently when you get like left rear hooked and it sends you onto the apron, it, it, cat, it catapults you. Um, that one I was lucky enough to survive. This one, not so much. I believe that was the four car that was down on the apron, who I'm assuming, he probably was looking in his rearview mirror. He undoubtedly shit his pants when he saw me flying towards him like some sort of pterodactyl. Just cruising along, having a great dandy Daytona 500. Oh, that wasn't the four. That was the 47. All right, and my, my controller now is dead. The batteries died. What else can go wrong for me? Building fucking race cars in a she shed. Blew up the only race car that I've got. Have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna make it to Atlanta. And now, now I need to go buy batteries. Let's just fucking watch this one more time. I was like, oh, I would like to hold the three back, but oh, too late. Well, we DNF'd there with Whitney Spears, and uh, we were the only couple of DNFs. Let a few laps, so hey, at least we got that bonus point. Bunch of people here wound up, well, not a bunch, just a few wound up a lap down. Who ended up winning the damn race? Oh, lovely. Jeff Gordon Ramsay. I thought he retired at the end of 15. Well. Whatever. That, my friends, is a picture. Those poor dumb bastards couldn't do a damn thing about this because all they see out of their windshield at the moment is the underside of a flying 80 car that they, there's no path to success. Alrighty, guys. Well, here's a look at the points. We're in 41st after one week. Absolutely no idea how we're making it to Atlanta, like I said. Considering that was our only car and there's no engine left. Your chase uh, playoff standings. There, uh, There's everybody that's currently in. Jeff Gordon Ramsay has a win, so he's pretty much in. So good for him. Oh, wow. Sponsorship offer from Mechanics Wear. Would like to offer me for the next eight races. Yeah, I, I don't even care what like the obligations are. I just need that money. I guess we'll look into our research and development next week to begin next week's episode. Uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be headed to Atlanta. So it's my plan to, as long as I can get the car to the track, to run an episode of this every race weekend that the cup series is actually running in 2024 so uh yeah atlanta will be next week it's just it's just kind of crazy to me that nine years later it's atlanta again as the second race nascar 15 predicted the future over it. um i'm done thank you guys for watching i love Ayo, every single last one of you thank you for allowing me to continue to do this and make videos every day i really do I, it is it is a lot of fun and I'm, I'm glad that i get to entertain you guys in some kind of way uh, I hope at least I'm able to. My neck fucking hurts, man. I am so sick of this. It needs to go away. Oh, my fuck. I need one of you guys just to, like, stand on it. Crack it. I don't think I've ever asked you guys to stand on my neck before. All right, I'm done. See you in the next one. I Please don't actually do that if you see me out in public attempt to stand on my neck. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!